We have a big announcement this morning, a new addition to our Good Day LA family. Christina Pascucci is an award-winning journalist, a familiar face to Los Angeles news viewers, of course, and the newest addition to Fox 11. Now, what you see on the air is a professional who covers a story, but it's what you don't see that makes this USC graduate the reporter she is today. Yeah, from the depths of ocean, surrounded by sharks, to climbing new heights by climbing to the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, Christina has always had a craving for adventure and curiosity about the world around her. And those traits and that thirst for learning more have only fueled as her successes continued as a journalist, driving her to not only seek out important news stories, but also to show how they affect people involved as well. This this USC grad has been all over the world, and now she's bringing this extraordinary set of skills to us, to Fox Hi. 11. Oh my gosh, welcome. you guys, welcome. welcome. I, thank you. You've all been so sweet to me. I feel like I already know you so well, and I could cry. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. I already feel like family. Well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> well, I've it's seen surreal. you in the, uh, in the field millions of times, yes. right? On countless stories. We've huddled together in the cold. Hitting the pavement. Yeah. Especially the last couple of years, I feel like there's a special bonding between news people covering COVID and this mm -hmm. racial reckoning in America, and it's been so tough. So we have that. And you're a fierce competitor oh. with the Malibu Triathlon. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you're, you're always running and smiling through it. I feel like I'm grunting and sweating through it. So and you that's always why you win. So great. <laughs> She's like the stylish, the most stylish reporter out there in the field. Oh, so, yeah, true. I'm glad you're getting your style here. And you buried the lead. Yes, traveling is great and all that. But you're a dog mama, too, oh, right? Yes. Fellow dog mom. Dog I love mom. that. Yes, Gracie. Maybe she's watching right now. Nice. I love you, Good girl. Morning. Morning, yeah, she's losing her hearing, so you're going to have to turn Aww. the volume up. Really we are loud. so excited to have you here, and we are excited about the stories you're going to be doing because if people watch or follow you, you're very committed mm -hmm. to the everyday stories of the everyday person. So talk yeah. a little bit about some of the stories you want to cover here in L.A. Thank you. Yeah, I think one of the things I really appreciate about Fox 11 in particular is the documentaries you guys have been doing, the in-depth reporting. So I want to dive deep into some of the most pressing issues that are hitting Los Angeles, like homelessness and um, getting to know our Angelinos because everyone has a story. And I spent a lot of the last six weeks or so traveling the world and something I was reminded of every time was we live in one of the best places on earth. We really do. And there are so many incredible stories to tell. So I'm just excited to dive deeper into that. Kind of give a, viewers who may not be as familiar with you your backstory in terms of why you decided to, to become a reporter. Who inspired you maybe even to become a reporter? Yeah, well, if it's okay to get a little bit more personal. Um, I, growing up, I had a family member who was an addict and also dealt with some mental health issues. And so I was exposed early on to the reality that like really good people can sometimes do bad things. And um, it, it sparked this curiosity within me to want to understand how people get to be where they are, um, to build compassion and understanding rather than othering. And so that insatiable curiosity has stayed with me till today. And it, it drives my husband crazy when I, I meet people. I'm like, tell me more about you. <laughs> like, where are you from? What makes you tick? In fact, uh, the first question I asked my husband when we met was, what's your passion? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like not even his name, just what's your past? That's a good question. Yeah, oh, I like tell that. us a lot about yeah. someone. Yeah. Speaking of your yeah. husband, I, I keep watching you on, on all your adventures, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she must be the most understanding and patient person <laughs> because yeah. it's a lot, right? Yeah. You've been yeah. gone for a while, and we're going to get into everywhere you've been and what you've done later uh, in the show. But um, really, it's amazing, Austin. I love you. <laughs> it takes a special human to mm -hmm. be able to to deal with all this because I, you know, I was just traveling for a month in between. Between, you know jobs you don't have kids yet and so it was like when when but now mm -hmm. and and also it was a chance to really get to know a lot more uh, about our world and, and major issues happening and hence you know we did the Armenia story which I, I just you're so good at what you do Aroxia the attention to detail with that story was amazing um, and you know understandably so but uh, he he just is so supportive and when I wanted to go to the moon and I applied to go to the moon because we live in a time yes wow 
through wow. SpaceX. They have this program, and he's like, "You go for it." So, oh, wow. yeah, you know, great. and you made him do the triathlon with you. So I know yeah. he did the bike leg. I think. So, yeah. yeah, what a competitor too. He's and and you, you almost reached the moon. I mean, Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit closer. Yeah. But, like, but you're so grounded because you're from here, right? Yeah. I love the fact that you're from USC. The but Valley you grew girl, up, yeah, Valley representing girl. the 818. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, and that's why this, this city is so special to me. And, you know, looking at career moves and everything, it's like I, I just I want to stay here. I want to tell the stories of, of this city that is so near and dear to my heart. And um, just, I think, one of the most diverse, amazing places to live. By the way, you are a licensed I, pilot. Wow. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Babe. This story... Oh, it just grabs my heart every time. So that is Beverly Beast Meyer. She's 99 years old. Uh, or she, she actually, she passed away at 100 years old. She was 99 mm -hmm. at the time this was taken, and she was a WASP, a women Air Force Service pilot during World War II, mm -hmm. um, where they were the first women, you know, they were, they were pioneers. Mm -hmm. And when I met her, she was on hospice, wow. and oh, her oh dying gosh. wish was to fly again. And, oof, I was trying not to <laughs> cry or whatever, but, like, what an honor to, to be able to take a pioneer like that up into the air for what would end up being her final flight. Mm. And she just loved it. You could see her there. And she took control of the yoke and she flew like no time had passed. And she was, you know, mesmerized by the clouds and Aww. such a special moment to be able to do that. Aww. Well, I know you put your heart in every story you do. Yeah. So we're so happy Thank that you. you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome I to love the family. You all. Welcome. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you even more. Yeah, and better. you too. Well, I try not, not to wait. scare you off because we, we're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I like me a little bit of crazy. Very crazy around here in a good way, best way possible. So you're yes. going to stick around. You're coming back in the nine. Yes, we'll talk a little bit then. more about your adventures because okay. you've had quite the exciting six weeks or so. Yeah. It is an honor to be in your midst. Thanks for having me. And I want to give a shout out to Pete, um, the acting news director too because he is a big reason why I came here. He is, I think he's injecting so much positive energy into everything he does and um, Good it's just move, an honor Pete. to be part Good of it. Move. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not trying to kiss butter or anything. Yeah. <laughs> just telling it like it is. All right, Thanks. 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 We'll see you Thanks. again Thanks. around yeah. 9.30 or so. Yeah.